Hello everyone, LMP from Racer here, back for another video. And, and we, we are back now on part two of the 4 to 6 eBay Motors car pack review. Picking off from where we left off last time, we're now on the Mazda Speed Source Lola. Um, it is a Le Mans Ambrosia type car, as you can probably quite, as you can tell, most likely by the shape of it and the way everything is designed. Yeah, uh, do, do you know thing? I think it may be sponsored, sponsored by Sky Active, you know, I think that that might just be a thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's uh, number 70. So I took this round for a quick having a look at Le Mans just to get obviously some of the camera shots. One thing I will say, I really like the steering wheel in this car, I don't know why, but the steering wheel for me... I don't know, it's a small thing, but I don't know, it's just the little details that make the big things up. The steering wheel in this car look, looked a half cool, I think. Yeah, it's just my opinion. But yeah, kind of, it's a Le Mans prototype car. I'm afraid to say I don't have much to say about this car. Not because it's not like, it's not exciting or anything, but the Mon prototypes are not my forte. I'm not I'm I just I'm not good at judging the speed of one of these things and that was a fail. But yeah, I'll have to You can leave what you think in the comments. Now As with every car pack on Forza, there always seems to be that one car and you just think why did you make why did you put this in this is that car it is the 2000 plymouth prowler uh <laughs> i don't even know what to say i don't even know what to say again two two cars this yeah this video is going really well two cars and i haven't been able to see much about them but honestly what can i say about this car <laughs> Everything that I think is wrong with this car, most likely, you can see and you can tell. It's big. It's heavy. It doesn't do corners very well. It is not fast in a straight line. I do not like this car. Although, actually, looking at it, it's not that bad, but it just, it looks stupid. Moving on. Now, you can see it in the background. Now you can see it properly. This is the big one of the car pack. 1988 McLaren MP44, the car that took Ayrton Senna to his first Formula One World Championship, won 15 out of 16 Grand Prix in the year, and was the most one of the most dominant F1 cars in history. It's in for it's now in Forza Motorsport 6. This is easily my favourite car from the car pack, and not just because it's Formula One. That has a minor bias to it, but skip over that and don't get, and don't mind it. But, um, it's just, this car is so fun to drive, it really is. It's not in a way that it's easy to drive, I'm not saying that at all. It's very difficult to drive. You're still going to get spinning, you're going to still be spinning the wheels through about gear 2 through to about, gears 1 to about uh, lower end of 3. However, it is very nim it is very nimble and it is just fast. It is a. It isn't quite as fast as the Formula as the 2015 Formula One car, but that car is a bit too uncontrollable for my liking. It just. This has the perfect balance of being stupidly quick and having, uh, and being controllable. It's yeah, as I said, a lot more controllable than a normal F1 car, but it's still very very quick. So, so and also now with this car in the game, you can use the infamous quote to anyone who you feel. You made a fair move on, but they're complaining. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver. I'm very sorry if I offended anyone with that with the accent there. I'm just, I'm so sorry. I really am. <laughs> so if this is going really well. I came to review a, a Senna's F1 car, and I go into an accent. Well done. So yeah. Those were my reviews. That was my review of the 4 to 6 eBay Motors car pack. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching both parts. As you can tell, my favourite car from the pack has been the McLaren MP44, and my least favourite has been the Plymouth Prowler, just because of how stupid that car is. So, yeah, if you haven't seen part one, the link will be in the description. And if you've already seen part one and you're seeing this one, I hope you enjoyed both. So, thanks for watching.